Thanks so much for joining me online again, guys. I'm Kevin Hurd from KevinTalksTech.com here today to talk a little bit about digital storage. You know, you hear numbers like megabytes all the time, you hear gigabytes, you hear about these hard drives, these hard drives, I should say, these flash drives right here. But what I really want to do today is go down to the nuts and bolts about these and talk about how the storage works, how much you get on these things, and what ultimately is going to be the best value for you. Now, the big thing about all of these are today they take a lot of storage on them. You can store a lot of pictures, you can store videos, documents, pretty much any kind of file that you can imagine can go on these. So let's talk about each one of these, go through some of the pros and cons. First, I want to talk about the portable hard drive right here that doesn't plug in. This one right here is probably one of my favorites so far. It's easy to carry around. You don't have to plug it into the wall, and it does have a lot of space on it. It has 160 gigabytes. Maybe that's foreign to you. Let me break down a little bit exactly how much space we're talking here. Again, megabytes are smaller than gigabytes. Today, basically, if we talk about this in terms of space, on a drive like this, you could get about 54,000 pictures. That could add to about 54,000 songs or we're talking maybe about 5,500 videos. Really like this one, one of my favorites. One thing I do always worry about though is carrying it out and about if you could maybe drop it in the rain or something like that. They are durable, however again, nothing is completely safe. And I say that because now we move to this drive right here. This is my plug-in external hard drive that I've had for many years, probably about for the past seven years or so. This one is 500 gigabytes in size, so for the time it was very big. Now you can get these in one terabyte, two terabyte sizes. We're talking about a lot of space. A terabyte is bigger than a gigabyte. Let me give you an example here of how much you could get on this drive right here at 500 gigabytes. You can do the math too. Uh, you know, terabyte drives are more common, like I said, these days. So basically just double what I'm going to tell you here. On this one, for instance, 170,000 pictures, 170,000 music files, or 17,000 videos shot off your cell phone. Again, double that, and that's pretty much what these drives are at today. And in some cases, uh, you could quadruple that. Things that I like about this drive, again, it's powered. It is grounded into the wall as well. You're going to want to make sure to have this into a surge protector. But that, again, is where the danger exists with this one, too, because if you get a lightning storm or something like that and you don't have this one grounded, you could do some damage to the internal components. And actually, with this drive in particular, this is a Maxter drive that I'm using here, right here. Or Maxter drive, I should say, that I'm using. I actually don't even know if they make Maxter anymore. This drive is actually broken. I'm not exactly sure what happened to it. I've always kept it plugged into the wall. This one doesn't work right now, so I've actually lost data on this one. So I'm always a little bit hesitant about advising and giving advice on these plug-in drives that you can use because, again, sometimes things like this can go wrong. But then again, same with these kind of drives right here. Eventually, these internal components could wear down. So you do want to exercise some caution and have backups of your backups. Now finally, I want to talk about the flash drives. This little guy right here, these are really increasing in size. You know, they used to be able to maybe get 512 megabytes on these, a gigabyte, that was a higher end flash drive. This one right here holds 32 gigabytes. And these days you can pick up a 32 gigabyte flash drive for maybe about $20 at Target or Walmart, something like that. To give you an idea about size with this one, we're talking about 11,000 pictures on here, 11,000 music files, we're talking about maybe 1,100 videos on a flash drive that's this small. Now I've also seen these as well for about 64 gigabytes. I've seen these as a high as 128 gigabytes. More than plenty if you do want to use these type of things, you know, for a longer term storage option. So I do recommend these as well. Of course, pros with this, ultra portable, could take this anywhere. Sometimes you can even buy devices to plug these into, like home entertainment systems. You can watch videos right off of this thing. Problem with this, of course, something you could very easily lose. It's a lot easier to see one of these two things, much rather than this right here. Uh, but then again, you know, these I found. I haven't had too many problems with these, you know, wearing down over time or anything like that. So it all basically comes down to what you're looking for, how big the files are, 
and if you're planning on taking any of these on the road. And that'll do it for this episode of KevinTalksTech.com. Thanks so much for joining us. I really appreciate you guys stopping by to check out our videos here. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our YouTube page. Come on back, get our updates, and I'd really actually love to be able to see who's watching the videos and to be able to chat with you a little bit as well. And if you haven't already, also stop by our Facebook and Twitter pages. Give us a like or give us a follow too. Thanks so much again for stopping by, guys. We'll see you next time.